All right, let's do another game, man. Let's look for another game. All right, we got Hippodon, Mega Mawile, Gray, Gray Ninja. Um, we got this. We got this freaking um, Spinner Rooney guy. What the What the hell is this? Ex um, Escadrille? Yeah, Escadrille. And um, Tentacruel. What's he probably gonna lead with? Most probably he's gonna lead with Hippodon. That's no big deal. That's really no big deal. You know what? He's gonna lead with Hippodon. Let's leave a fur frog. Fuck it. Yeah, it's probably gonna. Be all right, let's leave it for a fro. You know, that way I can maybe toxic this guy. Wait, no, he's gonna set up his stealth box. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. I'm probably gonna have. To oh, I shouldn't have. I should have gone in there with superior because I knew his stealth box was probably gonna be coming. So, yeah, that was a bad move on my part. Okay, so should we just go in there with superior now? Nah, the deed is already done. Might as well just go in there. With oh, lucky me. Lucky me. Okay, that's fine. Are right, you in there with the Escadrill? Your Escadrill? Okay. What do you want to do? Sword dance? You want to sword dance? Yep, I know you want to sword dance. Roar, get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you doing with your life? Stop it. Don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Escadrill. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's hit this bitch with the Thunder Wave. Power up punch. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you doing? I ain't gonna do shit. Roar this bitch. Yeah, good job. Alright, now he's back in there with Hippodon. Um, let's see. 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 Let's make him think that I'm gonna think on a one track mind. Let's go for another toxic. Alright, that's fine. I wanna make him think that we're going for one track thinking right here. Alright, so that's, that's clean. That's fine. Now, um, let's go in there with Superior and threaten him out, then go into Metagross for a hard switch to get up our Stealth Rock, since this guy looks like he's going to be switching all day long. All day long. I, I just want to get some, like, since I know he's he's switching a lot right now as it is, even though he's got that, um, that Escadrill up, I am worried about that thing, because it's going to be able to spin away the rocks. But you know what? It would be great to get up the rocks right now. And here we go once again. Escadrill is in the building. Um... Let's go for a freaking taunt here. Let's go for a taunt, because this Excadrill, he keeps coming in with the Excadrill. He's trying to get a sweep. He's trying to get a clean sweep here. I can't let that happen, baby. I can't let that happen, man. I'm, I'm sorry, Excadrill. Look, X oh, I forgot about x -Sizzle. Well, I now I know. Now I freaking know. So, <laughs> hey, all right. Um, Clearly, that was not good. So let's just go in there, back in there for a fro. We'll take that X's or no problem. All right, and now, hmm, he might switch here, knowing that I'm probably gonna go for the roar to stop him from sword dancing. Let's go for another roar. Earthquake. Okay, he's just going out straight roar attacking. All right, that's no problem at all. Okay. Let's see here. So now um, he's got Tentacruel in there. Probably gonna go for a straight up Scald, just to get some damage off on me. Let's go in there with the scout. Oh, I'm sure that really well. Toxic? Oh, that's that's fine as well, sir. That's A-OK -okay with me. Hmm. Now he sees the Scavalier, so you know what? Let's knock off anything that he might just potentially have. That'll be good. That'll be really, really good. Alright, so now we knocked off his leftovers. So now let's go for a sword dance just to set up a little bit. He's probably gonna keep going for the Scald. He doesn't really anticipate that I'm especially defensive, Seth, so he might just stay in there with the shit. Go for a sword dance, that's fine. I'm worried now that he brought Hippodon in because this nigga might just have Fire Fang. Does he have Fire Fang? If he has Fire Fang, that's not gonna be good. That shit's gonna KO me. I gotta be really, really careful if this dude has Fire Fang. I know Furfro's taking a lot of damage in this game, but I got no other choice, man. I got no other choice. I gotta play I, I gotta play cautiously around that because the Scavalier is the one thing that might just wall a lot of these guys. Should I risk it? If he has Fire Fang... No, he's gonna have Fire Fang, baby. He's gonna have Fire Fang. Fuck it, nah, I can't, I can't risk this shit. He's gonna have that shit. Oh, Earthquake. All right, all right, that's fine. Furfro's taking so much damage from this guy. All right. Let's just go for Superior again. Because, you know, we gotta preserve Furfro. Maybe, I mean, because... Well, dang it, what's Furfro really gonna be good for at this point, you know? Like, Mega Mawile. We'll be able to sucker punch that bitch. But Furfro will be good for the phasing, which will be really helpful in taking down Excadrill. 
All right, so goes for the earthquake. <clears throat> I'm still feeling pretty solid in here. Maybe we should go for the leaf storm and hit this guy really, really hard. Let's let's hit let's hit something really, really hard coming in. Let's let's hit something really hard. Fuck it, let's go for it. All right, and the leaf storm misses. Oh, wonderful! That's great. Excellent. Hmm. Not good. Okay. It's got um. He's probably gonna go for the setup. Let's taunt him. Play rough. All right. Lost superior there. That sucks. Hmm. Now you know what? Let's go straight up in there with Houndoom because. The heat wave is going to KO him if he stays in. So let's go for the Mega Evolution, then go for the heat wave. It's going to do a lot of damage either way, unless he goes into Great Ninja. Right, let's see. Tentacruel? Alright, that's fine. Okay. Now I got to play really cautiously around. He's probably going to go for a Scald again, so let's just go into a Scavalier once more. Damn, the Hippodon didn't pop. He didn't have freaking um, Fire Fang. If, he, if I had not predicted around that, I would have been able to go for a Sword Dance and then, or maybe get some really nice damage off with the Iron Head. But he switched into his, um, he switched from that into his Tentacruel? Did he, what did he switch into? I think he switched into his Mawal. Yeah, all right. All right, I gotta, I don't think he has anything for my Escavalier, man. I gotta start playing safe around this thing. Go for the sword dances. Get oh, okay. He doesn't have anything for us, um, Escavalier. We can do this. We can do this. All we have to do is play intelligently, and we can pull this off. Now he sees. Oh, he's got sword dance. Shit! I gotta threaten this guy out somehow. He sees that. He's like, I gotta threaten Tenter. I gotta threaten Escavalier out somehow. He's got sword dance. He's probably max invested in attack. That's probably what he's thinking right now. So if I was him, what would I do? Stay in there with Tentacruel and try to get the burn. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. So let's knock off again. Oh, hit something really, really hard. That's fine. Knocked off his smooth rock. That's why the sand was lasting so damn long. Um, okay, let's go for the Iron Head. He doesn't have the Fire Fang at this point. I think that's confirmed. Oh, okay, slack off. All right, that's fine. Thank God for Escavalier, because, you know, I resist the sand. Oh, he's got Roar! Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Anyway, he's going to try to phase me out like that. That's totally fine. Oh, Earthquake? That's no problem, baby. I can take those. That's no problem, baby. But now, he's gonna just go for another Earthquake again, most likely. Do I want a Scavalier to take that extra damage? Because if he does, then Grain Ninja will be able to come in no problem and clean up. A Scavalier at this point would be one of the only things to be able to put Toxic on Grain Ninja. Uh, hmm. If only I had recovery somewhere. Uh, no, go for the Iron Head. The Earthquake's gonna do a lot, but I'm just hoping that with the recovery that I have, I'll be able to. I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to do something. All right, so now he's probably gonna go into. His, okay, his Exit Drill. And that is totally fine, my friend. No, no, that's not fine. Why am I acting like it is? It's not. What's he gonna do? Go for an Earthquake, or is he gonna go for uh, a setup move? He's got probably got sand rush too, man. He's probably got that sand rush with the balloon on his head. Yeah, that's not gonna be good for me. You know what? Let's just go for the knockoff. It's the only thing I could do. Oh yeah. Oh earthquake. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see. Now he's probably got sand rush. Probably. And if he has sand rush, then it's going to be okay. I gotta go in there and fur furl and get a baby doll eye so I can lower his attack, and then uh, maybe I'll be able to withstand a move from the Escavalier after this. He doesn't have priority in any single way except for Mega Mawile. But that's not good. I gotta figure, if I had KO'd Mega Mawile, I'm pretty much setting Barbarical up for the biggest sweep possible. A lot of my Pokemon are going down. All I needed was Mega Mawile to go down because if Mega Mawile had gone down, then I would have been able to sweep. I gotta somehow try to figure out a way to bring Mega Mawile in so I can kill that son of a bitch. Baby doll eyes this bitch. Slower his attack now. All right, so now I'm looking. I'm looking pretty solid in there. Um, now he's got the earthquake, of course, which is going to hurt. But I think I can threaten him out now with Houndoom. 
and everything will be all right. You know, he's gonna be faster than me, but with one attack drop, maybe I'll be able to live one earthquake. No, I'm not. Damn it. Sometimes I, ah, okay. Well, then again, Houndoom doesn't really have bulk. Metaboss will probably be able to live quick over that. I, sh I played stupid there. That was a dumb move on my part. Ice punch this bitch. That was a dumb move on my part. Next scissor, why would you do that? Alright, well, whatever. Um, let's go for uh, another ice punch or should we switch into Barbarical? Is he scared now of the ice punches? Oh, he's gonna go for the earthquake. He's just gonna try to get damage off as much as he can. But with the attack drop. Yeah, why did I waste my Houndoom? I wasted my Houndoom there. Because Houndoom would have been able to take the Sucker Punch from Mega Mawile and re retaliate with the Heat Wave. Why am I playing so stupid? Oh my god. All right, I played really stupid there. I played really, really stupid there. All right, this is it. <laughs> this is it, Barbarical. It's time for the sweep up, bitch. It's time for the sweep up, bitch. Oh, Barbarical, I hope you're ready, baby. It's gonna go for the Grass Knot. And um, I gotta pretty much hope and pray that his damn um, my, oh man, I played so stupid with Houndoom. Why? Why did I do that? I would have had a really fast sweeper, even though I don't know how much Houndoom would have been able to do later on, but I would have had a really fast sweeper in that bitch who has a lot of special attack. But no, I just gave it away to the Excadrill, thinking, oh, you can live it right at No, no, that, that was a dumb move on my part. That was a dumbass move. Um, all right, he's a grass type now, so I guess just go for the solid. Dick brick. That was that was bad on my part. That was bad. All right, now he's in there with my wall. Let's hope he gets paralyzed. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, good game, good game. All right. So right now we're teetering around um, the one the 1,100 area in my ranking. That was a good game. That was very good. You got to play a little bit more intelligently because there were a lot of foolish moves that I made in there that were totally unnecessary. Bad moves. Those were some bad moves. That was a bad game because I played so recklessly with my Pokemon. I played really badly with Houndoom. I played really recklessly with Furfro. I could have avoided all that excess damage, but you know. And and I made some bad predictions around the Hippo Dawn, thinking that he had that um heat, thinking that he had the Fire Fang. When I most likely probably should have stayed in there and just kept going for the Sword Dance with the Scavalier. Since you guys saw yourselves. He didn't really have much for a Scavalier. That's why this guy, he, he was switching out of that bitch all the time. The only thing that he really had as an answer for a Scavalier, if, especially once I Sword Danced, he would only be able to hit me with neutral physical moves, and which are still pretty damn bulky against. So, bad game on the moves I made. But like, I don't think it was the Pokemon that failed me in that game. It was more of me failing my Pokemon. Like I played very foolishly there. Nasty, de nasty demonstration on my part. Totally, absolutely disgusting. 